If I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe how long I felt this way. I'm begging you to stay. And if I could show you, I'd hope that you could see all the possibilities. There could be a place for you and me. And under the stars, you pack up your car, 'cause you're going far away from. dog outside oh it's a little too loud up here i actually have to leave in like three minutes i never plan my timing really well when i have to make breakfast and stuff but i have to give milo his medicine still that's what we're gonna do right now and then i like really need to leave but it's fine my first class is actually online but i have to go to the campus to do it because i don't want to be late for my other classes oh god let's go okay so now i am on route to classes and it's pretty early this is the earliest time that i've ever went to class even though this first class will be on zoom on my computer and i'll probably just sit in my car and do it i just can't believe that i used to wake up at 6 a.m every single day to go to freaking high school for seven hours because then when i tell people how many classes i have today and how long i'll be at school they're like wow that's so long but it's like guys we used to go to school from 7 to like 2 30 or something that's just crazy you know what i mean every single day five days a week i definitely miss so much class in high school and i also don't understand why we had to be there every single day because college is like higher education and you can you can go like once or twice a week also i wanted to say in case you're new here you just you just don't know i'm an english literature major so that's my major in college and it's my third year that's my story hopefully this year my classes are good too i have six classes instead of five this year because i have to take a lab oh i'm just rambling on i don't even know what i'm saying right now i almost went the wrong way and i would have like actually been late it's an online class but he said to get on it 10 minutes before i'll talk to you guys in a little bit probably and it might be after my first class but i'll explain more then okay so tired i just finished my first class which is american sign language but it's like on zoom now i'm gonna go into school so i can go pee and then i'm gonna go to my second class and i don't know exactly where it is uh, but it should be pretty easy to figure out i feel like so i'm gonna go do that i'm not gonna film in class or anything i don't think just because i don't know i don't want to film somebody who doesn't want to be filmed but that's the plan. See you then. See you later. I don't know when I'll see you next. Hey guys, it is like a few days later now. It's Friday and I don't think I actually ever filmed anything else in this video. I probably cried. I don't know if I really did cry, but I would assume so because it's a few days later and I've had more classes now. I wanted to show you guys what I like to do every school year to keep my assignments together, specifically for college because 
on your syllabus you get all of your assignments it's kind of weird to see the difference between a syllabus from high school to college because i remember we had to do syllabus and all that are they called syllabi is syllabi i don't know but in high school but it would never have any of your assignments on it or anything so i like to organize all of my assignments in a notion and i'm gonna go ahead and link down below the one that i use for you guys so you can see what I do and how I keep all of my stuff together because I've done this for, I think this will be my second year doing it or second and a half year. And it really, really helps me keep all my assignments together and make sure that I get them all done and turn them on time. And also makes it a lot easier for me to plan. So I wanna show you. So the first thing that you'll need for this is Notion, which is a free app and it's also a website that you can just do on your computer. I like to use it from my computer, but I also have a ton of other tabs that I have on my Notion that I use on my phone, like a budget and all that stuff. Um, but this one I keep on my computer because that's where all my schoolwork is. All right, so here's my Notion. On the link, you can basically go in, customize it, do anything you want. For these page covers here, I just like to use um, Pinterest and go on and look up Notion header. And then I put this one and my theme is like green and white. This is my college one, obviously it says right there. You can name it anything you want though. It's like completely customizable. And then right here, I just have like a quote. This is a F. Scott Fitzgerald quote, which is very fitting for my major, I guess. I don't know, I just like that quote. And then this little reminder, one day at a time because college is really stressful. So I have some subjects over here on the side so you can click on one and scroll down and start seeing the assignments for that class. Um, also, it has a calendar on here that shows actual assignments so you can like click on them and see what you have to do for that day so you can see what you have to do day by day. And then there's a whole big checklist here with all the assignments for the whole entire semester that you import in each specific subject. So that's how I keep it all organized. The actual link that I will link down below, that's the template for this. Um, it was made by someone else, by the way, not made by me. I just use it. It's kind of difficult in some parts to figure out, but if you just do a little bit of finagling, it should work fine. You just have to kind of figure it out a little bit. When I used it, I had not used Notion like at all, so I really, or maybe I didn't use it. I just didn't use like kind of complex templates, I guess, um, with like this big of checklist. So it was kind of hard for me to figure out at first, but then once I got it down, I did it for every single class. So I would recommend doing it if you want to keep track of all your assignments if you're a college student. That's kind of just how I do it. But I wanted to show that for sure in this video because I think that I've talked about it before, but I don't know if I've really showed it. And I would highly recommend using it just to keep everything together and take a little bit of pressure off of you so you can remember everything you're doing and not having to click on the syllabus every time you're looking for an assignment. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get ready for my first day of school and kind of talking about it a little bit. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next video. I think I'm gonna do a week in my life vlog which will include lots of school content, studying, work everything like that so if you're interested stay tuned subscribe down below and i will see you guys soon bye